Hello, my name is Noe Gutierrez. And I'm the support engineer at Quick Server Controls. In this tutorial, Quick Control tutorial, we'll go over a, a program uh, that uh, controls the motor on startup, and it finds its homing routine uh, by home uh, runs a homing routine program at uh, homes against the hard stop, which. Um, eliminates the need for a home sensor so what would and if you here in the left window I have our quick control software free download off our website uh, to the right is a uh, webcam video of a setup with our our motor and uh, connected to a lead screw and after We'll go. We'll build the program as we go along, and at the end, uh, we'll go ahead and run the program so you can see what uh, what the program is uh, it's doing. So what we'll start off with is by adding a command, and we'll click this uh, add button. We'll select uh, error limits command, ERL, and what we want to do is we want to redefine the air limit. By default the air limits are set to 20,000 counts and so what we want to do is we want to reduce the air limit um, so that the hard stop is sensed uh, sooner. So 50 counts it's a good number. Uh, you, you may have to increase or decrease depending on the sensitivity of your load the, the more sensitive your your mechanical system, you want to lower your air limits. But 50 is a good number for this demo, so we'll set it to 50. Next command, it's a kill motor condition command, KMC. Uh, with the KMC, are, there are certain conditions that will automatically disable the motor drive, and one of the one of the conditions are, is the moving error that's enabled by default. Now in the in this homing routine program, uh, we're homing against the hard stop, so we're expecting a moving error. So with with this uh, in this command, what we want to do is to save, make sure we disable the moving error, so that that doesn't dis, uh, disable or doesn't um, dis, uh, disable the motor drive and automatically jump out of our program. So we we're expecting a moving error, so we'll disable it, and then we'll set the temp over temperature slash drive level fault uh, with a condition of fault, and we'll hit OK. Next command is a TQL command. With the TQL command, we'll lower our torque limit so that we don't damage. As we're coming against a hard step in 30%, we'll reduce it to 30% from 100% or close loop moving. Next command is a the actual motion command. So what we want to do is we want to select the motion command. Well, let's select this MRV. I'll give it a distance, a negative distance, so that the motor starts moving towards the motor, so that uh, that hard stop is set to a position of zero, and any motion from that is positive. So we'll just set that distance to negative uh, distance, and we want to make sure that the distance is greater than the range of travel. So we want to. So if the motor starts off at the opposite end, we want to make sure that the motor, the the command will, may, uh, that, it, that the load will at least guarantee that it will reach the uh, motor or the hard stop. And we'll just give it an acceleration of 5,000 counts per second. Acceleration of about 25,000 counts. Now the key here is stop condition. We, we have to set a stop condition of moving error. So when the moving error is true, so once we sense the hard stop, we will stop the motion. So now that we're stopped, we'll then want to set the 
target equal to the position. We want to set the target position equal to the existing actual position. So this eliminates uh, the error we've accumulated due to the hard stop. And so we'll add the target to position. The next command is we want to clear the internal status. By clearing the internal status, we clear the moving error bit. Next, once that we've stopped, we'll want to add a motion command that, go, that moves the motor away from the hard stop. So this will vary in application to application, but I'll, I'll set it to two revolutions away from the hard stop. And do 5,000 as well, 25. And hit OK. Once we move away from the hard stop, we'll then want to set that position to our zero. So we'll set a zero target and position command to the ETP. And then OK. So by the time the motor gets to the last command, it's found the hard stop, it's moved away from the hard stop, and now it's at that position is zero. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and run this program. I'll download and restart. And then you'll see the video to the right. The motor starts moving towards the negative position. Moves 20,000. Now we're at zero. Now let's run the program under debug mode. Debug, I'll check debug, and then I'll hit restart. Now you'll see that the command is moving the negative until it hits the hard stop. It moves it, hits it, moves back. Then our position is zero, and if you check the position, where zero counts. Now from here, you can have the motor home against the opposite hard stop. You can, from here, start a program. Uh, so from here, I'll just load a, a new program, or I'll, I'll, I'll add a program to this homing routine. So I go to programs, new program, and this new program will be loaded immediately after the homing routine. So I'll just have two motions that go back and forth. Two absolute motion. I'll go to. 20,000 counts. So I'll move to 20,000 counts. And then I'll add a delay. I've got two seconds. And then another NAV. This one will set it to zero. So if I set in the absolute position to zero, the motor will automatically move to its home position. Add another delay. This one just set it to a second. And we just want to repeat this sequence so I will add a jump command. And I'll just type in a label of loop. And so to repeat the command I want to jump back to this line 2. So under this label column I'll select it and I'll start typing in loop. And I'll go ahead. Uh, but before that, I need to I'll stop the program. I'll go back to my program zero, which is my homing routine. In the last command, I want to then load our application program, which is a load and run program command LRP. So let's select it. I'll click this program button and I'll select my program one hit OK OK so now my after I home I load the application program and we'll go ahead and download restart and I'll check debug so you can see what's going on move back away set our zero and now we're doing two wait two seconds go back to zero Give it a second. Go to twenty thousand. So this would just repeat uh, indefinitely until 
he issue a stop command or power down or some other command. Um, is that issue? So go ahead and set the program. Check debug. So this is the so you then want to go ahead and file save your program to your computer and this uh concludes the homing against the heart stop tutorial if you have any questions or um, comments please email us at support at quickservercontrols.com and visit our website at quickservercontrols.com for more information